we used to have family reunions at Lido Beach out on Long Island. And my, my cousin Warren would set up big speakers and he would play the jams of the day. The way that the music connected, whether it was Good Times or Let the Music Play by Shannon, the way that certain jams connected the family and people would dance. Or like Prince, when, when Purple Rain dropped. I remember everyone from the little kids to the older people dancing to this Prince album. Music is what makes us human. It's what gives us our humanity. A computer can't write a beautiful symphony. It's just a vibe. The music that stands the test of time is music that's connected to social justice. Whether you're talking about Bob Marley or, or Nina Simone, whether you're talking about Aretha Franklin or Marvin Gaye or, or you too, music is what connects us to who we are as human beings. Lost in desire, walk through the devil's fire. I inspire the resurrection of kings like Hezekiah. The trust you put in me to be a beast with this rhyme, and it's where the rubber meets the road and where your faith meets science. Let's go. There's songs that are fun and fleeting, that are empty and vacuous. And it's fun to hear that in a club when you're drunk and you're high. But the music you return to, the music you pass down to your children, the music you listen to as you're cleaning your house on a Sunday afternoon, that's the music that sort of moves with the will of the people. Music is our greatest, greatest natural resource. And that factor is raised exponentially when you're dealing with oppressed people. They say, I'm good walking in every ghetto around the world. The hood often embrace you when you profound with words. I say the shit they relate to what keep it down to earth. Because of my perspective as a black man in America, I have a dog in that fight and I speak from my perspective. Speaking from a sort of pro-black perspective in America is really speaking from an equality perspective. You know, race is a social construct. It's not real, it was invented for greed. It was invented to justify the slave trade. But because of the slave trade, you know, we say we're proud to be black because I don't know which African country I'm from. My ancestors were killed for trying to express themselves culturally. So I connect my pro-blackness in solidarity with other marginalized groups, whether it's Native Americans or gay people or women or Jews or Muslims or other marginalized groups. I relate to their struggle because of my struggle as a black man. The nature of being an artist, you have one responsibility, honesty. It's not a responsibility to be a role model. Sure, a popular artist is thrust into that role, but I don't think that's inherent in the responsibility of an artist. The responsibility of an artist is to be honest. Now, with that said, my responsibility as a man is to my community. I'm not just an artist, I'm a grown man. So, like, when I'm doing activist work or adding, using my art as a platform for activism or social justice, is that's my responsibility as a man and a member of my community, not necessarily my responsibility as an artist. The advice I would give to young musicians is to change the game, offer something new, turn the volume up, break the rules. Keep going, keep doing your thing, keep banging, keep thumping.